Hello everyone, it's Brian Lutchmeyer, NADP Chair. Um, it is Wednesday the 25th of August and I'd like to firstly thank you all for those that have engaged with the virtual conference, our first virtual conference and obviously with um, everything going on with COVID-19 it made sense to deliver something for the membership that um, had a virtual element to it. And I would like to say it's been a, a very good success. Um, feedback from members have, has been uniformly uh, supportive and clearly, particularly around the webinars and the range of videos that have been offered over the last 10 weeks, have been engaged with and with a high degree of value. Clearly, the content that has been delivered has been something that you as a membership um, find of significant value and I would like to thank you all for not only engaging with the process but also for your valuable feedback which as always the more honest and open the better it is for us as an ADP. So um, I'd also like to thank all the speakers um, and uh, contributors to delivering the conference from the range of webinars that we've done over the past few weeks, but also um, the videos that have been uploaded. These take time and people are and have been taking time out of their working day in order to uh, manage either recording the videos or spending the time as part of the virtual conference delivery itself each Wednesday. So I'd like to thank each and every one of those people for providing their time, their expertise, their specialism and their passion for the sector in doing so. I would also like to thank uh, the NADP office for their hard work and particularly the conference committee because back in January when we were looking at doing a face to face conference, we were doing all the bookings for a physical uh, event. And then obviously with um, the pandemic crisis and the lockdown in mid to late March 2020, we as an organisation had to think very quickly um, about how we could deliver a level of content to you as a membership that retained the value and offered the element of reducing any risk of isolation in the process, bearing in mind we're all working remotely, have been working remotely, getting used to that and the transition of um, working on site on campuses, in services, in practical services to then having to work remotely was a significant challenge. And I wanted to just kind of share that with you because I think um, in week 10, where this week we have our last webinar tomorrow, um, I say tomorrow because I'm recording this on Tuesday, um, so on the Wednesday, plus the networking event, which would be great, and actually sharing um, our experiences, not only as professionals, but also how we've looked after our own well-being from a personal point of view. So thinking about the things that you may have taken up over the past few months, because one, we may have a little bit more time. We don't have to do some of the traveling that we probably have had to do previously. And, and so life has adjusted and shifted and changed for, for many of us, I think, in that in that sense. So the ability to share that with our membership and also, you know, share some of the new interests we may have picked up along the way. I know I've had some, um, most notably, I think, in March and April, clearly dressing up in one of my videos um, uh, became something that I hadn't done for a long time. And, but hopefully, you know, it's all a bit of a laugh and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that alongside, if you got to see the video, that is. Lastly, um, I will be signposting everyone to think about our AGM, which again, we've had to adjust to make sure that we can one, provide all the information about the progress and um, framework for an ADP, but also the, the reassurance that goes with that in terms of an ADP as an ongoing and healthy not-for-profit organisation, what we have in store in the coming year, thinking about our resources, thinking about our activity, thinking about actually as an organisation for 
us um, and our members what we can continue to do to further enhance and develop professional practice for you um, across the sector. So we'll be looking to working with you as a membership much more closely in the coming year and and longer term because we do want your involvement and your input. So any ideas that you may have um, would be highly welcomed either via myself, the board of directors or directly to the office. Okay, so what I would like to say is to celebrate the work that you have done in what was previously a very challenging academic year with all its ups and downs and changes in practice, but also the forthcoming academic year, which is simply around the corner. And I'm pretty sure from speaking to colleagues in the last week or so, a lot of time has been spent, particularly on clearing, thinking about pre-entry events and orientation of uh, disabled students and, and the wider student cohort moving into university life and, and, and assisting that transition. And I know some of the inherent challenges is associated with that plus the ongoing nature of the tenders um, delivered uh, through SLC and some of the turnarounds and changes in that that we again as a sector will be adjusting to and as NADP looking to influence to ensure a positive outcome along with other partner stakeholders and uh, ensuring that our voice is heard, listened to and has the opportunity to positively influence a level of outcome that meets the needs of you as professionals and practitioners, but also and most importantly for students and disabled students uh, in the sector. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for your contributions, your input, your energy, your passion, and I look forward to seeing you all in the very near future. Um, if you haven't been able to uh, attend the network event, um, do think about what we have on offer over the forthcoming year. So I know that we have virtual ASC training in lieu of being able to deliver that face to face. And that's been kindly delivered through Nikki Martin, who you will all know was previously a chair with NADP and is a senior researcher in the sector. And um, in terms of the content will be highly excellent. The, the other piece of work that you know as a membership we've been working on incredibly hard um, through Paddy Turner, again a former chair of NADP and highly valued in our board of directors in terms of the accreditation process and the professionalisation of disability practitioners in the process. So we are looking um, at the time frame of formally rolling that out to all membership as an open offer on an ongoing and longer term basis. So quite an exciting time within a period of, I would say, uncertainty and challenge. All of this is not new to us. And I would also say it's not new to us just in the UK. And in one of my other videos that I've posted um, that should be up on, on the website um, soon is uh, a piece around the link partnership with European partners. So it might be worth checking that out if you can um, hold your attention for another video with me. So I'll leave it there. Thank you ever so much. Keep in touch. Keep engaging with the forums. Keep engaging with any of the activity and delivery that we are offering. And we hope to see you very soon, either in a virtual setting or fingers crossed at some point in a more physical setting where we can get our heads together, think together, collaborate and enjoy our time together. All right. Take care now. Best wishes. Bye.